tonight a championship match. The belts will be on the line. Our contenders competing for this belt, making up the team of Zach James and GT Busan. Give it up for the Illuminato! And we are kicking the night's festivities off hot and humid with the tag team of the Illumin Ninjas, former UCW Zero Tag Team Champions, hoping to regain the gold when they go against no more heroes in tonight's opening bout. The Illumin Ninjas, the tag team of GT Busan and Zach James. Two very competent and capable singles wrestlers, but they find a new mode when they work together as a tag team. Constant motion and great athleticism set these two guys apart from all other teams in UCW Zero. Jeff Orcutt. You could call these two guys the nucleus of No More Heroes, and they definitely do believe that the world revolves around them. And this should be a great tag team match. Two very distinct styles in the ring. The Illumin Ninjas obviously want to get their belts back. No more heroes after forcibly ejecting Trey Matthews from the group. Look to continue their momentum that they seized after winning the tag team title. And as you can see, the belts on the line. My commentary, commentating partner, Levi, Getting possession of the belts. Whoever wins this match, the belts will go to them. We are officially under the underway at UCW Zero Revenge. No! You stop it! And it looks like we're gonna open up with Jeff Orcutt and GT Busan. Busan gaining control of the arm as I'm joined by my commentating partner. Derek Gennetti, it is great to be here side by side with you again for another incredible night of action here at UCW Zero's Revenge. So who's your favorite in this match, Levi? I mean, two young tag teams of the experience obviously having to go to No More Heroes. Who's your pick? Well, the stable of No More Heroes have been together for a long time, but that doesn't necessarily translate to cohesion. And you've got to keep in mind, I was in the ring. It sounds like the crowd is very excited for Illumin Ninjas tonight. I mean, you make a good point, though, but No More Heroes, they don't attempt to be fan favorites. They almost That's true. They almost feed off the booze that they often receive from the UCW Zero faithful. That's true. Negative energy is energy. These guys, you know, any publicity is good publicity when it comes to guys like No More Heroes. Speaking of which, No More Heroes, they've, uh, they've had some bad blood in their own myths recently. Well, I guess they kicked Trey Matthews out, and I, I mean, you could definitely argue if that was a good move or a bad move, but in this case, that's why they are the tag team champions. I mean, kicking Trey Matthews out, and I guess kicking him in the face is what gave them tag team gold. Oh, oh, oh. And the Illumin Ninjas almost seized tag team gold right from the start. 
That could have been a quick change of hands for the Tag Team Championship belts here in UCLA. Oh, oh my goodness, caught him right oh. in the jaw with the spinning Insiguri oh. kick. And oh, Jeff he, Orcutt looks out and he's not on his feet. But that does show the level of experience Jeff Orcutt has. He knew he was in trouble. He made his way to the corner, tagged in his partner Reyes. I think Aiden Reyes is Aiden Reyes is ready to bring some action here. He looks like he's channeling his inner uh, Leonardo DiCaprio from Titanic. <laughs> That's well, what I'm good for. Yeah. 90s references. There You'll hear go. a lot yeah, of them well. from me. Well, uh, we, yeah, he's, he's definitely playing to the crowd, but he, he is antagonizing the crowd, unlike Leonardo DiCaprio, who was great in that movie, by the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who was the Kate Winslet? Was that the actress? Yes. Uh, um, uh, we'll, we'll, see if, we'll see if Jeff Orcutt can live up to his half of the deal there in the, uh, the Jack and Rose tag team that made oh. Titanic what it is. Adam Reyes, nice European uppercut in the corner. Oh, it and, uh, uh, oh. There was a will, but there was very little cart right there. Yeah, that is. Or maybe there was the cart without the will. Either way, uh, uh, only a caveman could have been proud of a wheel like that. Ooh, oh, Illumin shop. The Illumin Ninjas are trying to turn it around. Oh, Ooh, nice counter, counter into an arm drag. He's keeping the pressure on. Aiden Reyes looks stunned. Oh. Oh, miss with the kick, caught with the elbow. And Adam Reyes looks stunned. Being comforted by the Deacon of Doom outside the ring. You can't lose the tag belts if you're under the rope. Is that going to push him back in? Smart move. He's got victory on the mind. Well, and when you've got more than one opponent to worry about, try to keep him in the center of the ring. Oh, is mano a mano in there. And did you see him recover from that? I mean, slipped on the springboard, still goes with the drop kick, and he scores with it. Did, did I see a tag from the Illumin Ninjas? Maybe. They what do we great. got here? Take into the air. Oh, oh, the action's outside the ring. Faked me out. Oh, yeah. Fake high and go over. Oh. Nice maneuver. And right now, I think that was a legal man against legal man attack. A perfect distraction. Using, oh, using the man who's tagged out right now to distract the team. We've got, oh, looks like we do have some blood. I think Jeff Orcutt got caught in the nose. I believe he's bleeding from the nose, perhaps maybe the shoulder. But he is definitely worse for wear. Oh, I see some blood in the teeth as well. Jeff Orcutt is definitely hurting here. But the Illumin Ninja's not, not letting up on him at all. They are looking for Tag Team Championship gold tonight. I'm surprised seeing kind of a mean streak from Jeep Q Busan. Nice jumping elbow in the corner. And right now, no more heroes have been unable to really seize any momentum in this match. It has been almost all Illumin Ninjas. Oh. He can grab the foot. That is what you expect oh. from No More Heroes. But at the same time, Deacon's doing the right thing. Jeff Orcutt is injured. And he Adam Reyes obviously upset, perhaps a broken nose. And that looks like that blood is fueling his fire. Correct. Okay, Aiden Reyes does have the energy. He's been able to make a successful tag out. And he's safely in his corner with Stevie Slick. And now no more heroes. You can see them cutting off the ring. Not only are they cutting off the ring, but you can see strategically Stevie Slick and the Deacon of Doom placed on this side of the ring. GT Busan is a long way away from his tag team partner. Oh, but they're bringing the action back into the center of the ring. Off the ropes. Oh. What a kick. Goes for the clothesline. Ducked by Orcutt. Oh, and a nice... Belly to back into a flapjack. Nice maneuver there by Orcutt. And Orcutt's got to drag Busan back to his corner, and that's exactly what he's doing. Throws him out to Deacon, and now look at it. Occupies the ref. Distracts the ref. Noah the caught up man. dealing with in a verbal exchange with Orcutt, and Stevie Slick laying the boots to GT Busan. G.T. Busan is the legal man. 
He has been outside the ring for far too long when you've got not just two No More Heroes to worry about inside and outside the ring, but also the Deacon of Doom and Stevie Slick lurking outside the ring. And if you're Zach James, you got to be smarter than that. I mean, he's watching on the other side of the ring while three guys beat up his tag team partner. That's true, that's true, but that's, uh, that's where No More Heroes also make sure that the ref is able to see the, uh, the Illuma Ninja and know where he is while the rest of the No More Heroes no more heroes just taking advantage of the situation. Very good point and a very nice clothesline by the Jeff Orcutt. One of my favorite wrestlers here in UCW, Zero. Don't always agree with his demeanor, don't it's always true. agree with his tactics, but you can't argue against his wrestling ability. You've got to respect the oh. sheer wrestling ability. Wow. Hesitation, drop kick, cut or cut right in the face. Oh, but G uh, GT Busan is winded. Or cut is down. They're both looking for those tags. Will it be Zach James? It is. Both teams have made the tags. Oh, and look at Adam Ducks. Oh. Could be going for a DDT. No. Oh, nice Northern Light suplex by Zach James. Bridges over, double foot stomp. Innovative combination offense. Almost got him a three count. Oh, Zach James was looking for it. He thought he had put him away. Oh, the aggressive offense from Zach James. Throwing out some palm strikes. Is that enough to turn this bundles. around? Oh, he's taking them up top. Oh, high risk and high impact. Oh, a little trash talk. Or cut, though. He distracted Zach James, perhaps gave him some time. Oh. oh. Going for a Frankensteiner. Adam Reyes held on to the ropes. What's he going for here? Tornado suplex. Beautiful maneuver by Adam Reyes. Is that going to be enough? Oh. That was all Zach James. GT Busan is down and out in his corner. It is basically one on four right now. And no more heroes know how to capitalize on that type of an advantage. And a very impressive move by Reyes. I mean, not only using leverage, but speed and technique with a beautiful suplex variation. Almost got him a three count. We're going to have to see if Aiden Reyes is able to... Nope, he's, he, uh, the tide is starting to turn. Zach James is bringing it back. Zach looks like he's he's got a rope break. Oh, that's, oh what a kick. Oh, beautiful. But the presence of mind to stagger into a tag makes the tag to Jeff Orcutt and Orcutt. Oh. Smart move. Big knee right to the jaw, Zach James. What do we got here? Oh. For a young tapped team, the Illumin Ninjas, they're developing great ring presence, and they know where the ref is, they know when their corner is there, but no more heroes have always got one more trick up their sleeves, and they've almost always got help ringside from guys like Stevie Slick and the Deacon of Doom. Oh, and Zach James just fell backwards. Uh -huh. Using their numbers against them. The Illumin Ninjas have just innovated the game. Double drop kick. I don't think the ref knows who the legal man is at this point. Big forearm right to the jaw, GT Busan. Zach James is to his feet. What's James going for? Malfunction at the junction. Oh. Drop kick to the head. Using that two on one advantage that's gonna be real rare for the Illumi Ninjas. This might be their opportunity. And it looks like Zach James scoops him up. What's they going for here? We've got a high-risk maneuver. Oh, fireman's carry oh. into a cartwheel Samoan drop. Could that be it? Oh, and did oh, you see a no. Deacon of Doom outside oh. the ring? Biding his time. I think Noah saw it, but I'm not sure. Zach James definitely saw it. That would have been, should have been it. Oh, double Ooh. low blow by Adam Reyes. That's what happens when you get distracted. Yes, the ref is wrong, but not paying attention to your opponent, that is the worst mistake you can make. No more heroes. Oh, and a sandwich knee to knee with a head in the middle and the no more heroes successfully 
retain the Tag Team Championships. And And there they are, still your tag team champions, Jeff Morcutt and Adam Reyes, but it looks like the Deacon of Doom has something to say.